Hey, good Thursday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 Meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your ENC weather update for this April the 4th, 2013. Well, starting off today, it wasn't too bad across much of the east, but some of our southern areas south of US 70 saw some rain showers early. Now we have transitioned to rain showers across the entire area, and we are going to keep that through the overnight hours tonight. Not expecting very much change as a low pressure system works its way up the coast this evening and going into early tomorrow morning as well. Well, another thing that we'll be watching going into, especially tonight and tomorrow morning, we'll be watching a warm front that's actually going to try to sneak in here late and could actually bring us a few uh, rumbles of thunder, especially along the coastal coast and areas along and east of U.S. 17 uh, going into the overnight hours tonight and into tomorrow. But we're not expecting any severe weather or anything of that sort. But maybe a few gusty or showers out there and some lightning to go along with it, but not expecting any severe weather. I do want to point that out. But temperatures tonight down into the middle 40s. And really and truly, we're right around where we are going to kind of bottom out tonight. We might actually see our temperatures rise a little bit through the overnight hours tonight as that warm front tries to push northward into the east. Tomorrow, I think that temperatures will be able to warm up close to 60 degrees before it's all said and done. But the thing is, is that we're also going to have to deal with, on the back side of the system, maybe a little bit of uh, cool air starts to drain in here during the late afternoon hours. That's after that warm front actually pushes through. We're going to see the temperatures warm up close to 60. Then the cooler air comes in right behind it. And I think one more cool day day after this into Saturday, uh, we'll have another cooler day across eastern Carolina for your Saturday, and then the warm-up starts. And we're talking about some very nice temperatures as we head into next week. But back to what we're going to have to deal with tomorrow morning. The morning commute going to be a little bit on the treacherous side. Good thing is a lot of people are not having to deal with taking the kids to school. Uh, so you won't have to deal with that, but heading to work tomorrow morning may be an issue. So you want to uh, make sure that you have enough time to get between point A and point B. But after that, the rain shower should get on out of here through the, uh, the morning time hours of uh, Friday. I will say this, that if you live along in east of U.S. 17 and south of U.S. 70, you might have to deal with a few thunderstorms tomorrow morning, but not expecting any severe weather once again. Uh, and the heaviest rain looks like it's going to be kind of cornered in that same region down towards Carteret County, down East Carteret County, also for Onslow County, Craven County. Uh, we'll have to deal with uh, some uh, some very heavy rains, upwards of maybe two inches of rainfall before it's all said and done uh, going into tomorrow. Once this system gets on out of here, we get made in the shade for a good little while. We're not expecting any type of rainfall over the next couple of days uh, until we get to maybe Thursday of next week. Uh, high pressure really going to build in across eastern Carolina. Uh, here and there we'll see cloud cover, cloudy intervals here and there, but overall expecting a good deal of sunshine and warmer temperatures. We're going to get temperatures uh, through the 60s and eventually into the 70s by Sunday. Sunday afternoon we're talking about 70 degrees here across the east and not only that we'll have to deal with warmer temperatures from Monday and Tuesday Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday are going to be our breakout days where we get up close to 80 degrees. I think 80 will be obtainable for uh, Thursday, uh, for Friday, uh, uh, Wednesday rather. Thursday we get up into the lower 80s with a slight change for a shower or thunderstorm. And now we're getting into that time, that period of time where we're going to see these showers and thunderstorms. It's not just going to be these showers now. We're going to have to deal with thunderstorms to go along with it, especially as these systems start to make their way into the area. And looking at the long range, uh, right past the end of the seven-day period, we are looking at a system that is still a couple of days out. We're still far out, but it is going to make uh, wreak some havoc over the central plains and the southern Mississippi Valley uh, through next week. We'll keep an eye out on that because it w may affect us. Uh, going into next Friday and Saturday, we'll have to keep a very close eye out on it. Nonetheless, uh, any system that comes close to us, we'll have to keep an eye out on. But the thing is that now we're starting to get a little bit more instability, uh, thanks to the more the warmer weather, uh, also the sunshine. Uh, so we'll deal with that when it comes. But in the meantime, expect the warmer temperatures and also the uh, the nice weather that we're expecting over the next several days across eastern North Carolina. Once we get past this nastiness today and early tomorrow, we get into a very nice pattern for at least five to seven days. All right, from the Storm Team 9 Weather Center, our meteorologist Patrick Ellis, have a great evening, and hopefully we'll get you back uh, on schedule. I know we're a little off today because of uh, I had to go out and do a package and, and a live shot this afternoon, so I wasn't able to get the video in here before uh, 1 o'clock or so, but... 
Uh, hopefully by tomorrow we'll be back on schedule. Uh, you can check in with David Sawyer tonight at 10 o'clock and also at 11 o'clock on WNCT. And Gannon Medwick will be in tomorrow morning, bright and early, at 5 a.m. Thanks and have a great evening.